Delta Force has just unveiled its latest game and while it's full of action, it also is full of bugs. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Canada Technology and in this video we're talking about what you can do if Delta Force isn't launching on your PC. Well, uh, the first thing that I recommend that you do is to simply restart your PC if you've just installed the game. Um, if you didn't know, all you have to do is click on, power, on the Windows button. Click on the Windows button, click on the start power power icon and then just restart your system. I have an update pending, but this you would see this option as just restart. So make sure to go ahead and restart your system and then come back to the game to see if that works. If that doesn't work for you, you can try checking the game's anti-cheat service. Now press the Windows key and search for services. And we're going to launch the Windows services app from here. And in here you will see the anti-cheat expert service. This is the anti-cheat used by the game and if it isn't running, your game will not launch. So uh, double click this. Make sure that the service status is running. So go ahead and click on start. to Make sure the service is running. Uh, you can also set the startup type to automatic so that this launches up every time you open your PC. Once you're done with that, hit apply, click OK and now try relaunching the game. If that doesn't fix the problem either, you can try disabling third-party antivirus softwares that can sometimes detect the anti-cheat as a malware, shut it down and hence prevent the game from firing up. Now, I use Windows Security and it's usually pretty good with these things but in case uh, you're experiencing a problem like this, all you have to do is head over to Virus and Threat Protection here. Go down and under Virus and Threat Protection Settings, click on Manage and just disable real-time protection. We'll ask you for some permissions and then real-time protection will be off. Do keep in mind that you only do this to test if the game is working or not. And if it is working, when the real-time protection is disabled, you can enable it and come all the way down to controlled folder access or exclusions. So uh, we're going to click on add or remove exclusions. Click on add an exclusion, select folder and now you can just navigate to your delta force folder right here so for me this would be games xbox games no. yeah epic right oh wow i actually have no idea where it is wait this should be in my steam library steam apps common delta force select the folder and uh, make sure that it's added to exclusions and it should be up and running without any problems The next thing to try out is to verify the game's files. Now, if you've gotten the game through Steam, head over and uh, head over to Steam and open its interface. Then head over to your library. In your library, find Delta Force and then right click. Then click on Properties. Head over to Installed Files and uh, click the Verify Integrity of Game Files option. Once you click this button, the game will verify all of its files. Make sure that they are present and not corrupt so that uh, you may not face any problems when you're running the game. This can often fix problems like graphic issues or the game straight up not launching. Moving on, you should also try updating your GPU drivers. Now, depending on whether you have Intel, AMD or Nvidia graphics card, you're going to have to use their respective utility. I have an uh, Nvidia RTX 4060 in my laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the Nvidia app then head over to drivers and then uh, just click this button to check that if I have the latest drivers or not. As you can see, I do have the latest drivers installed so I can go ahead and reinstall them if I think that they're causing problems. Additionally, just make sure that you're using game ready drivers and not studio drivers because uh, studio drivers tend to be problematic when it comes to running games. Moving on, the next thing you can look for is a Windows update. So a lot of the components used by these games like Visual C++ and other redistributables are often delivered as Windows updates. So if you have any updates pending, you might want to make sure that you get on top of them. 
So press Windows key plus I to open up Windows settings and head over to Windows update. Uh, as you can see, I have an update pending. So uh, and if this is the case with you, also make sure you install all of your updates, then come back to the game and try launching it. Make sure to also restart your system after updating just to make sure that everything is installed and ready to go. Last but not least, if nothing else works for you, your best bet is to go ahead and reinstall the game. How do we do that? Well, simply fire up Steam, head over to your library, um, find Delta Force in the list. As you can see, it's still validating from our fix. Right click. Go to manage and then click uninstall. Steam will give you a warning telling you that Delta Force will be removed from your drive but will remain in your game's library. We know what we're doing so go ahead and click on uninstall and then once the game has been removed, reinstall it again to see if that fixes your problem. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.